Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 18th of 2024 is titled Northern Lights from the Stratosphere. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the aurora and we can see that off to the right hand side here taken from an aircraft up above Winnipeg in Canada. Now when we see the aurora we can see the different layers here showing how they occur at different altitudes within the atmosphere. All of them occur very high up in the sky so they're not down close to Earth they are well up above Earth's surface and in fact the greenish color occurs at altitudes of around 100 to 300 kilometers. And that would be about say 60 to about 200 miles up above Earth's surface. So very high altitudes much higher than the planes would be flying or anything else that we're used to we're up towards the edges of space where these phenomena occur. Now what happens is that these particles from the sun create these those particles from the sun sometimes ejected by the solar wind in a more calm fashion or sometimes in a solar flare or a more intense coronal mass ejection which flings out large number of numbers of particles. When those head towards Earth they are electrically charged particles and that means they are affected by by magnetic fields and Earth's magnetic field will deviate them toward the north and south magnetic poles and that is where they will strike the Earth's atmosphere. The green color a little lower down is caused by oxygen atoms and when those oxygen atoms are excited they give off a distinct green glow. However, oxygen atoms can also give off a red glow and which one we see depends on the density of the atoms there. So in the lower atmosphere, which is again still very high up, the higher densities give us the green color. And in the extremely rarefied atmosphere up at the edge of space, we get the distinct red color that we see here. So most of what we see with the aurora are caused by oxygen atoms that have been excited by particles from the sun. Now the aurora themselves are a glowing of the sky. They're not a cloud of any kind. And in fact, you can look through these and see various stars right through them. And that would include at the middle of the image, you can see a part of our Milky Way galaxy as it stretches from uh, the top down toward the bottom there of the image and about the center of the image. And that is our galaxy as we see it from within. But note how you can see it through the aurora because the aurora is just a glowing of light in the sky. It will block out fainter stars, but it does not block out all of the light from behind it the way a cloud would. Now we see lots of stars here and almost everything that we see in this image is a part of our own uh, Milky Way galaxy. However, there is one object here that is not a part of our galaxy, and that is the Andromeda galaxy, which is visible here toward the upper left side. So the challenge here is to take a look and see if you can identify the Andromeda galaxy there. And you can see a little bit of a fuzzy patch where it is located. It has having the bright nucleus and then an extended fuzzy patch around it that signifies this as a galaxy and in fact the most distant object that can be seen with the naked eye. So that was our picture of the day for January 18th of 2024. It was titled Northern Lights from the Stratosphere. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be shortest day in the solar system. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.